Hi there. Today I'm going to try to show you how you can customize your own drum kit by using drums from GarageBand, but also other samples that you might find on the internet, and then combine them as one kit that you really like everything about. Because GarageBand has a lot of different drum kits, I have to find one kit that I like everything about. So that's why I start to think about to do this. So first of all, you have to sample drums and that is pretty easy because you just pick a drum that you like, a kit that you like, and you just record one hit from the drum that you want. Uh, as long as you, you need the sound to ring. Okay, so when you have done that, you just export to CD, give it a name, and I save it in the sampler instrument folder. Uh, and I recommend that because it's going to make it easier when you continue to do this progress. So you do that and you have the wave and not compressed and just that part okay so then you go on you can move this you change the drum kit if you want if you have another sound from another kit that you prefer so you do that do the same thing you export that to CD give it a name save it in the sampler instrument use the wave not compressed uh, click this one and then we export it so then it used to continue to do that with all the kind of drums that you want you, you can just move this record move this record and so on okay so then you have built up your own collection with samples so that's the first step next step is to find out where we have the sampler the fan on my computer starts now so we will have some background noise here anyhow this is default when you open a media channel so if you want to find an AU sampler you have to go hit down here and this is the place and when you record drums you can use the mono so this is the AU sampler and what you do here is basically upload your samples and you arrange them and specify where you want the sound to be, what key you want them to be on. So to do that you click here, you click here. This is a sound we're going to remove because you don't want that. But first, to do that, you have to upload your own sample. So here we have the sample instrument folder, and here is the place where I have saved all mine. So we can start with uh, the kick drum. So just click it and open it, and it will appear here. Now we can go back to this and remove it. So then you activate this one by clicking it. And so next step is that you have to decide on what key you want this drum to be at. So if we have different octaves here. So I pick to have it on C1. Doesn't sound so good. So what you have to do here is that if you pick C1 here, you have to type C1 on these three places. So try to do that. This is already C1. 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 Sometimes you have to do like this. Okay, you have the same letters. So now we have the bass drum. It sounds the way it should. So from here, 
we can uh, just go on and upload the next sample by clicking here so we take a snare open it and this is important you really have to click on that because it always should look like this in the beginning sometimes it's easy to forget you you are here and then you have this and you, you start to mess it should look like this so you have to click on it and do the same thing here now we can see we have the kick drum already here so we need to pick another key for it so i chose d1 because this is the octave one and this is two three so we take the d1 here so we have to type that d1 d1 So now we have a bass drum and we have a snare drum. Okay, so the rest is just to continue to do the same thing. It's just a repetition. Uh, one thing that you can notice when you have done this, that the sample is a little cut out. If you just click very quickly, it's just a little too short. In order to change that, you have to go up here and change this one release time and I put it pretty long so I'm sure the even the symbols will not be cut out so back to the snare so I click very quickly and that is the sound I want the bass drum okay next step if you want to because you can also do some edit on the sound here and if you want to do that you have to click on this place so this becomes yellow and from here you can adjust the volume the pan tuning and fine tuning so let's say that now we take the snare drum you might want that to be a little higher so you can just go here hmm, maybe a little too high we just one step so anyhow you can adjust the sound a little also here if you want to so that's about it you just upload your sound you specify where you want that sound to be by typing in the same key as it shows here that's about it and when you have done all this you have to save it so let's say we save this and here's the place you're going to save it AU sampler and it can give it a name just test yeah that's okay and we save it so we can exit from here and now we have test here and from here you also have to save this as a patch and you do that here see here this is patch and that's going to be saved in patches instrument and here you have all your patches so we try to save it there and here is the I don't know the name in English but it's a kind of user list that comes up here if if you haven't uh, done this and this is the first time you save anything that you have added yourself this is going to be created I have already done that so I already have a list but if we look inside here we should have something that called test hopefully yes here so this is your patch and the patch is already done so this is something you can use on any project that you have so you don't have to do the progress all over again 
Uh, I don't have any keyboard, uh, so I cannot uh, play anything. But we can just go in to this and check it out. So we go in here to the sample again and look inside it by clicking here. And we can see that we have the kick and we have the snare drum here. So we are all good to go. So that's about it. So just as the last thing to do, I'm going to open another project where I have my own drums. Okay, so this is the kit that I made this way. Okay, this is where dry and no effects or anything. Uh, so let's add some gate compressor and some EQ. And you can also copy the whole kit. And um, on the other track, you can use a reverb. I use a wooden verb and then just have the wet signal to 100 and the dry to zero. Uh, so we can listen to that alone. So you kind of simulate uh, overhead microphones. So it's cool, so you can mix them together. So the whole drum kit comes alive. Uh, last thing to mention is when you use the AU sampler you have this control panel too. Uh, it's mainly gain, uh, f uh, tuning, fine tuning, some pan reverb, some ambience reverb. I don't know what that do. Uh, so sometimes you can have some nice effects by using the tuning. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, if you use it maybe just with small um, adjustments, it might Well, it gives you some options that you can use. All right, so I think this is about it. Uh, if you have any questions, just let me know and take care.